welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am your host, Eric Snook. We have a great episode planned for you this week. First, we're going to talk a little bit about March the 3rd. On March 3rd, we will be in Lake City, Florida for a huge CCW live event. That night, we will crown new tag team champions in a tag team tournament. And we're going to have some big news later on in this show about that very tournament. But first, we're going to get into our match of the week which is for the Alternative Championship back at Stampede 2018. The way it works out for this match is you have four different tag teams, and they face off in an elimination tag team match until there are two men left. At that point, they wrestle each other, and the winner of that is the Alternative Champion. It's a crazy, crazy match, but that's what the Alternative Championship matches are for, and it is our match of the week this week, so we're going to take you away to that now. Our next match is the Alternative Championship. This is a tag team elimination phase off. Four more teams have been sent by Rand by CCW. And if each. If I remember the team is picked, then that team is eliminated. This, this is, this is going to be something else. When three teams have been eliminated, the two wrestlers that remain in the team will then face each other to determine the winners. So we need to bring this friend. Friend!
to get this match underway here. This is for the alternative championship. Trying to figure out who is going to be starting this match off. This is a tag team elimination match. Of course, the alternative championship named for the alternative types of matches uh, that that belt is used in. And right now, it looks like Darion Drummond is going to be squaring off with Duke Staines. Now, the way this match works, as each team gets eliminated, you'll be down to two guys who have won the tag team part. And then those two partners will actually square off with each other, and the winner will be the alternative champion. And we have some odd pairings and some odd teams here. Of course, Trace Owens. Duke Staines partner. Darian Drummond paired with Donnie Bronson. And there you see, standing in the corner by himself, Marcus James. Earlier tonight at Stampede, Toxic was the winner of the Stampede Battle Royal. So now Marcus James has wrestled this match alone. And then, of course, the final team is the team of Kakino Palamalu and the current alternative champion, American Prodigy. The odds are against American Prodigy. Just for the fact that there's so many different people in this match, he doesn't even have to get pinned and he might lose. And there we see some back and forth between the teammates, Donnie Bronson and Darian Drummond. Not exactly great teamwork when you're slapping each other around. Huge body slam and Donnie Bronson going for the pin, but Marcus James had the referee distracted. Not exactly sure why Donnie Bronson would have made that pin. That's one less team that he has to worry about, another less team that Marcus James has to worry about. Now Duke Staines getting the upper advantage and starts twisting that skin to burn it. Now we get the country boy. He is a big old farm boy. And there you see taking Donnie Bronson right off his feet. And once again, showing that strength, and that's just that's pure strength, you can see. It doesn't look like he goes to the gym to get a sculpted body, but that's no issue for him. He's a farm guy. He has got all the strength, all the natural strength and power you could ask for. And Donnie Bronson right now is finding out the hard way just how strong he is. Now roll up in one. one just a one count, barely able to get him up like that. Country strong Trace Owens showing just how strong he is. And this time, Donnie Bronson able to get him off his feet with that big clothesline. One, two. Just a two count. That was close. Donnie Bronson able to get Country strong Trace Owens off his feet with that clothesline. And again, another pin count and just a two. Donnie Bronson getting a little frustrated here. We got some jawing back and forth between Marcus James and American Prodigy and the fans. They need to stay focused on this match as the alternative championship is on the line. And there is some payback. Darian Drummond slapped Donnie Bronson in the face to tag him in the match earlier, so he chops him. And a huge face plant by Darian Drummond. One. Two, and the shoulder looks like it's up. It went back down, but referee Mark Alcone had to break the count as somehow Trace Owen, maybe by accident, had his shoulder up and doesn't even know about it. And the match goes on, and Darian Drummond drops him one more time. One, two, three, no doubt about it that time. Trace Owens and Duke Staines are eliminated from this match, and Mark Falcone trying to restore a little bit of order, trying to keep 
Darian Drummond at bay as they try to get the team of Trace Owens and Duke Staines back to the locker room. And now Marcus James enters this match alone. And Darian Drummond tags in. Darian, Darian Drummond tags in Donnie Bronson. Marcus James is a big guy. But not much of a history of singles competition for Marcus James, usually known as a tag team competitor. And honestly, he does the smart thing. He tags an American prodigy. Marcus James for doing what he can to Keep fresh, keep out of this match, and it's very smart to have American Prodigy in there. He is the current alternative champion. American Prodigy, like I mentioned earlier, the odds are against him. He doesn't even have to be pinned to lose this match. Looks like Donnie Bronson with a leaping dive. Tags in Marcus James. So now he doesn't really have much of a choice, it looks like. He's going to have to wrestle American Prodigy. Marcus James, head full of steam. Plows right in the turnbuckle on a code breaker, and that's gonna knock him out. Marcus James could be unconscious. One, two, three, and Marcus James is eliminated. It was a long shot, but now Johnny Bronson's in the ring. One, two, and a roll up. Fast paced action here from Johnny Bronson to the American Prodigy, and we are down to the final four. One of these men will leave here the alternative champion. The odds, I believe, are still going to be stacked against the American Prodigy just because there's three other guys still. But they're looking better. And now Darian Drummond and Donnie Bronson. This is where these guys really have to mesh as a real tag team. And you saw the save there. Darian Drummond jumping into the ring, breaking up that pinfall. Because they know they have to beat these two gentlemen, these two competitors in the ring, if they want to square off with each other for the alternative championship. Right now, Donnie Bronson looking very good against the Prodigy. Two running clotheslines, and the third one he missed, went to the well one too many times, and now American Prodigy. Oh, uh, he went for the Bulldog, but during, excuse me, Donnie Bronson able counter it and basically toss the American Prodigy across the ring. And now he's got the American Prodigy wrenched up, trying to wear him down, trying to make him submit. Donnie Bronson has been close to gold before. Last year at Stampede, he won the Battle Royal and got to square off with Jamie McKinnon for the heavyweight championship. That did not pan out for Donnie Bronson. It's tonight. This could be the next opportunity for him to hold CCW gold. And the American Prodigy has got to do all he can to get out of this. He's a long ways away from Kino Palamalu, who is yet to be in this match, really. Donnie Bronson, though. Got that shoulder bent backwards. Doing some real damage. Brings the American Prodigy to his feet. Whips him into the turnbuckles. Ooh, and another slap on the face to Darian Drummond. Whatever problems are happening, it, it seems to be working for him right now. Darian Drummond goes right to the attack. And 
again, American Prodigy, long ways away from Kikino Palomalu. He needs to get that freshman in there. He needs to make that tag before it's too late. And a great maneuver there. Come on, kick out, kick out! Just a two count. Darian Drummond picking up right where Donnie Bronson left off. Cinching back on that neck. The Kikino Palomalo, he needs to do what he can to motivate American Prodigy because if Prodigy loses, Palomalo loses. And he can't go out of this match without even having entered the match. We've yet to see Kikino. But now American Prodigy with some momentum. He's got to get through Darian Drummond before he can make his tag. And that desperation dropkick might be enough. He's within inches. And he makes the tag, and here comes Kikino Palamalu with a big clothesline. He's the freshest man in the match by far. This time an elbow. Kikino able to catch him and slam him down. One, two, but not quite enough. And Kikino Palamalu has been holding his shoulder since that initial clothesline. It actually looked like he may have dislocated it and popped it back in place. And, and although that's a good sign, it's a bad sign for this match. He's going to be in quite a bit of pain nursing that shoulder. Donnie Bronson dropping a huge headbutt. Bronson using that quickness and another huge headbutt. Sounded like a shot went off. And that may have done as much damage to Donnie Bronson as it did to Kikino Palomalu. Two heads cracking against each other. Can't be good for either guy and both men are down. We might have a double count out. I don't even know what the rules are in a double count out. Didn't think it was possible, but here we go. Both men not even close to getting to their feet as the referee continues the count. But Donnie Bronson able to tag Darian Drummond and American Prodigy back in the match. And now the American Prodigy fighting like a man possessed. Donnie Bronson went in for the save, but I think Darian Drummond may have already been kicking out. And now it's the American Prodigy's turn to try to wear out his opponent. But I think all that damage that was done earlier to the American Prodigy may be catching up with him right now. Darian Drummond quickly back on the offensive. Nothing scientific about that, just slamming his face against the mat. Darian Drummond tagging in. Donnie Bronson. He's still looking a little groggy, a little slow. But he knows what's at stake. Snapmare takes him down. And they continue to go at it with each other. This is gonna this is one of the hardest fought battles we have ever seen for the alternative championship. As we started with four teams down to two teams. Each man wanting to be the alternative champion, and right now the, the current alternative champion. May have just broke the jaw of Donnie Bronson, but he quickly tagged in Darian Drummond. 
What does Drummond have in store here? A devastating blow. Kikino Palomalo might be out. Scissor kick by Donnie Bronson, American Prodigy. This could be it. One, two, three. And that is it. Kikino Palomalu and the American Prodigy have been eliminated from the match, meaning we are down to the last two competitors, Darian Drummond and Donnie Bronson, and that means the American Prodigy is no longer the CCW Alternative Champion. It will be either Darian Drummond or the silent film star Donnie Bronson. I think we're gonna see some real aggression coming out. We saw it coming out when they had to tag with each other. But now, they get to take all those aggressions out. And that could be it. That could be it. Oh, the shoulder's down. No, he's got him now in a submission hold. Donnie Bronson doesn't care where he hurts you. He just wants to hurt every part of you. Drummond did all he could. Had to grab the hair and just punch him in the face just to break that move. And the role that Darian Drummond is on right now He's going to go for that same move that took out Kikino Palamalu. But he misses. He may have jammed his ankle. Donnie Bronson, German suplex. One, two, three, and that is it. The silent film star Donnie Bronson is the new CCW alternative champion. For the first time holding championship gold. And you hear it guys, the crowd love him. The silent film star Donnie Bronson is the new CCW alternative champion. professional wrestler have you ever dreamed of making it to the top and wearing championship gold well here is your opportunity email us today at customer service at ccwrestling.biz the ccw training school is accepting new students now start your journey today on your way to greatness Welcome back wrestling fans and there we see that the new CCW alternative champion is the silent film star Donnie Bronson. I'm sure he's got a lot to say about that and I can't wait to hear from the silent film star, at least hear from him in the way that we're used to. Now, also at Stampede 2018, we saw this match a couple weeks ago. Jamie McKinnon, the outlaw, the heavyweight champion, squaring off with Toxic, who had won the Stampede Battle Royal earlier that night. We've been waiting to hear what Jamie McKinnon thought of the outcome of their match. And I gotta say, it's, it's what I was afraid of, which is uh, Jamie McKinnon not in a good mood. So we're gonna go ahead and take you away to the outlaw, the heavyweight champion, Jamie McKinnon now. CCW Wrestling fans, let me tell you about Stampede 2018. One of the hardest matches there are to get ready for because you never know who you're going to wrestle. You never know what jackass is going to come through in the end. Well, apparently tag team friendship doesn't go very far anymore. Apparently, that little midget that used to run your mind doesn't go very far anymore. Apparently, $10,000 and the Southern States title doesn't go very far anymore because you took it upon yourself, toxic, to still want to wrestle the champ. Now, 
I'm not going to lie that your little game plan was well trained, well versed, well everything. But whenever you hit me in the head with that chain, you think I've never been hit in the head with a chain before. Just the night before, I was hit in the head with a beer bottle. Because that's just something to do on a Friday night. Listen here, Toxic, it was a wonderful plan. You almost had something going that nobody else ever had going before. You almost knocked me out. And that's fine. But listen here. It wasn't the pile driver. And it wasn't your heart that made the decision in the end. And it wasn't even the Lariat that I didn't get you with very well. But it was enough to knock you to the floor. It was that karate kick to your number nine rib. And I knew right then that you didn't want to fight anymore. And you just remember what the end was like. You were going to the locker room. I was standing in the ring with not only my belt, but your belt. So listen here. Before you decide to jump on the stud called the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon, again, you got to really think about how far you're willing to go. Welcome back, wrestling fans. And we see the heavyweight champion of CCW, the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon. And uh, I, I wouldn't want to be toxic or any other wrestler for that matter, uh, I'm glad I don't have to get in the ring in a competitive way with the outlaw because he is as mad and as crazy as we've ever seen him. And I'm sure he's going to use that to wreak havoc on CCW just a little bit more at least. He is our heavyweight champion and I'm sure we'll have some big announcements coming for the heavyweight championship very soon. But our biggest announcement tonight here on Superstars of the Ring is the tag team tournament in Lake City, Florida on March the 3rd. Uh, we already know that Donnie, excuse me, Darian Drummond will be tagging up with Frankie Morris to compete for the tag team championship, but also the Diamond Exchange, which is Daniel Anderson, and I can't believe it still, Shooter McGee have entered into this tournament, and it's already going well for those guys. Diamond Dave doing his job. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this went down, but they have been selected as number one seeds and will have a shot to bypass the first round of that tournament. Uh, we'll have more news on that later on, but that's a huge announcement. Daniel Anderson and Shooter McGee already getting started on trying to win back CCW Gold as both of those guys have been former champions in their own right, and now they will be tagging up and... I hate to say it, but it seems to be working for Shooter McGee and the Diamond Exchange, uh, led by Diamond Dave. So they will be in that tag team tournament. We'll have more news coming up here very soon next week here on Superstars of the Ring as we are getting geared up for March the 3rd in Lake City, Florida. We can't wait to see you guys there. Thanks for tuning in. For now, I'm Eric Snook, and we'll see you next time.